All right, everyone, we have fascinating science news today. Link in the description, archived, of course. You know those little rosette-looking formations on Mars? Scientists have looked into them now for the better part of a year, actually a little bit more than a year, I believe. Uh, since uh, last year, they've been studying uh, samples that were taken by their rover and uh, in photographs and so forth, trying to figure out what these little things are. Is it the result of water movement on the surface at some point millions of years ago, or, you know, what exactly, or crystal formation. It turns out that their most plausible explanation is that it was the remnants of life that had once been on Mars. Uh, the explanation is that this sort of formation, these little rosettes, probably were created by microbes. So there is a better than 50-50 chance at this point that Mars at least at one point had life on it. Now, of course, if these same microbes are still there, uh, they, they would be probably subsurface. Uh, maybe in the marginal zones near the poles where it's more temperate, they could probably, maybe they could still survive. And evolution is a wonderful thing because the uh, change in a planet's atmosphere and so forth happens over the course of millions of years. Plenty of time for microbes especially to be able to evolve. Uh, you probably do, therefore, it is now probable that there is still life on Mars as we speak. It's subterranean. You'd have to drill to get to it. It would probably be, you know, it would definitely be extremophiles by uh, the definition we use on Earth. Extremophiles can uh, exist in conditions that virtually any other life form would not exist in. Um, toxic waste, excessive heat, excessive cold, stuff like that. It has been found that certain species on Earth uh, specifically certain mosses, lichens, things like that, could survive in certain zones on Mars. Those areas are probably still inhabited now, assuming that this actually is the remnant of life that was once there. Uh, you would have potentially chemophiles, uh, that is, that uh, 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 microbes can gain energy from chemical processes, from, from certain chemical processes. Uh, again, this would be subterranean. <clears throat> it could be radiotrophs. Uh, we have bacteria and other species that gain energy from radiation. Um, so, I mean, these are all energy sources. Anything that can create energy can create, you know, a, a bed for life, so to speak. So it looks like, at the very least, there was life on Mars. I'm thinking there probably is life on Mars. David Bowie's question appears to have possibly been answered. Is there life on Mars? Yeah, probably. It's probably still there. I can't imagine a mass extinction event would be able to kill every microbe on a planet that once did have running water, we know that, and decomposed soils and so forth. Um, it would have had more of an atmosphere and so forth. Things were sort of going on up there. If liquid water was uh, available, and there still would be some inside of the planet, of course, it didn't all just magically disappear, then you would think that this would be a habitable planet. Probably not for advanced life. You're not going to be walking around on Mars in your spacesuit and find, you know, a green alien or something like that. But you might find a colony of some sort of photosynthetic life form or an extremophile or something like that. If that is indeed the case, it would be, again, subterranean. Uh, we did have that one image from the last rover that they sent up. This was, what, a decade ago or something like that, or actually I think it was even more, uh, that appeared to show possibly a geyser. Um, it appeared to show something coming out of the surface of Mars off in the distance, uh, and it looked like uh, the reflection of light off of water vapor. Um, there is seismic activity on Mars. It has, uh, it, they discovered this fairly recently, it does have, indeed, as well, a solid core, just like Earth has. This is a dynamic planet. It's not a dead planet. It's just, it's uninhabitable for the kind of life that we have on Earth. It doesn't have enough energy to sustain humans or something like that, or a cat. It's not, it's not possible. But it is possible that there are microbes there. I'm probably talking about prokaryotes more than anything else. It could be that there are colonial bacteria there, though. It's possible. I mean, we haven't exactly explored underneath the uh, crust of Mars. We haven't exactly drilled far enough into it to more than scratch the surface. Declaring there to be no possibility of life on Mars at this point would be like taking a single drop of water out of the ocean, saying, well, there's no fish in this water, or taking, you dip a cup in, yeah, there's no fish. 
Well, that doesn't mean that there aren't fish in the ocean. It means that there's no fish in the cup that you just sampled. <laughs> Barely scratching the surface, quite literally, with these rovers. And they're much more well advanced than the ones that were being used, you know, decades ago. So saying that there's no life on Mars at this point is almost nonsensical. You've got evidence of flowing water. You still have residual water near the poles on the margin, seasonally speaking. You still have some liquid water on the surface. You have frozen water in the crust. We know that. Same with the moon, by the way, although the moon doesn't have uh, molten core as far as I know. I don't think that it does. It's pretty much just a lump of rock. Uh, more habitable, though, than uh, Mars would be, oddly enough. Uh, we know that it has what looks like the remnants of bacterial action. Not sure, but it looks an awful lot like it. It looks like probably little eukaryotes were swimming around in the residual waters there for a while and made little formations and stuff like that because they can't apparently figure out any other way to explain it. They know of no geological action that could actually form these little clusters of, of material. So, yeah, looks like uh, at least there was, almost certainly, life on Mars. And that brings up the very real possibility that it's still there. Please don't bring back any uh, pathogens from Mars. That could kill the entire human race, actually. That's about all. Peace out.